विभक्ति कृष्ण प्रभ्य पाद पंकज पंजरा अर्थ विशत मानस राज हंस प्राण प्रयाण समय Don't be hopeless. I will give you a good suggestion. What you 
want to do tomorrow please do today and what you want to suppose to do today please do immediate because none can say when that will come for us if someone invite you that who will join in this assembly that 10000 pound will be distributed for each if you think that i shall go there tomorrow everyone will run as soon as possible so if you want to progress in krishna kasna consciousness we have to be so alert that we have not to be delayed for a moment so brother my is giving the suggestion and then all of them began to start kirtan then padakar is suggesting that now you are Uh, up three, four, five, six, or seven. Well, it is very well, like common. Why? 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 But if now you are so much uh, free from worldly uh, things, and your heart is so much plain, not written anything there. But when you will be married, and if you are married, then a, a beautiful wife will come, and at that time, if you will leave this world to do bhajan, then she will be. How you can be how? A very beautiful, and uh, having so many qualities, you can. And if you will have. some children one two three four some daughters of some some very beautiful then you will be engaged more in them then if you will try to give up all these things you can it that oh i will have to support these children now they are like very baby they cannot do anything if i am going giving up this householdness then all they die <coughs> so how you mean if the children are needy father 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 then how you can be the whole thing if they are made a very good uh, garden and so many trees flowers are there and if you will decide that i should give up and go to chant time be with the association in bona fide vaishnava and chant time with them how can you go oh my who will take care of my this body all flaws will die or oh, my beautiful dog he cannot live without me or oh, beautiful cow beautiful days you cannot at that time if you want that but you can so better in this can go you are free from all this better you thought chant and remember from this time all the students demand boys but so much but it's fine but they have some doubt they have some doubt bala from where you learned all these things very high class of philosophical basic thing and what you are telling you are true to expect so now we have so much faith on you but we want to know from where you learn so good explanations and all these things then what we reply you should stand up and tell you can and then remember nahi wala to aage gir jao tumko pani le kar ek pani le aata ke jaldi se se taiye nahi tab ke se phir karne wale hain anyone you can and very the song way
So previously, when Bulat Maharaj had been asked this question, he replied that just naturally that he had this inspiration to serve Vishnu and his devotional mentality was there this time. But now, because he was um, associating with his friends who were not in the Nicole, um, they were making a query. Then he started to reveal his heart. So he explained that previously, um, when his father, Yuragi Kashipu, had left the door, that I have heard all these things learned from Nara. Jagai had some doubt. We have never seen that uh, we have been associated with Narad anywhere. We have not seen Narad there yet. And you are only a thick, very little boy, baby. When you got uh, the association of Narad Rishi, then what? Then he explained that when his father, Ivani Kashipu, had left for um, to perform austerities, that his mother, Kayala, why, why he went to do aesthetic? He went to perform austerities to get boom from Lord Raman. He saw that his, ma his brother, my brother, had been killed by Baraji. So Baraji is not other than Vishnu. And if I am going to take revenge to kill Vishnu, then he should surely kill me. So I should be dead. Ajara Amar. So then, so then he ran a Kashipu when he went to um, Mandira Hill to perform his austerities to gain immortality. Then, at that time, the demigods, headed by Lord Indra, they, um, they went to, they understood that Kayalu, the wife of Hirani Kashipu. When he went to go to astrology, for astrology, he left anything to take, even water, even dry leaves, even air, everything he left. For 60,000 years, he was in a, in a trance. And his body was taken by and plants and so when the when the bone was there and at that time in Shaktaju life used to live in bone, not in this body. And here now it will not anything after two, three days. Later. But at that time life used to live in bone, so he was doing doing a study for 60,000 years. And in the meantime, what became? So in the meantime, the demigods, understanding that his wife was pregnant, so headed by Indra, they went, because they were thinking that... Uh, uh, so they were thinking that within the womb of Kayadu, that there was another very big potential demon that was coming. So they went with the intention that they would um, kill the baby that was within the womb. So at that time, um, Kayadu, she... Um, she uh, he attacked with whole soldiers, all demigods. And very big battle was there. The generals of Hirinakastu were there, they were fighting. But the demigods can all smash them. And at last the casual of Kayadu. So then Kayadu she was uh, calling out for help from Narada Muni. Then Narada Muni, mm -hmm. he, he began to take the Kayadu in where? Heavenly planet. So that when he, 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 she will be matured in his home, then boy will come and then. So he was taking. In the way now was coming from heaven or any planet, to this earth. Why you are doing so nonsense then? Being a demigod and you are taking this lady 
he cannot fight with you. Why you are telling him? Then, then Narada Muni explained to um, the demigods that actually the baby that was within the womb was a great devotee. Um, Lord Indra and the other demigods were thinking that this was a big demon. But Narada Muni explained no, that this is a very, very great devotee, so that you should not um, disturb Kayadu. So then the demigods, understanding the situation, they circumambulated Kayadu, paying obeisances to Palat Maharaj, and then they departed again for the heavenly planets. But Kayadu, she was feeling still some fear because of this situation, and then she asked Narada Muni um, that she received shelter from Narada Muni, and that also the baby that was within her womb, that he did not, he did not be born until um, her husband, Hirani Kashipu, had returned from performing his austerities. So Hirani Kashipu, he performed his austerities, as Maharaj has stated, for 60,000 years, um, just keeping his, the life within the bones. And finally, when he had finished his austerities and asked the benedictions from um, Lord Brahma, then, um, well, in this time, when the austerities were being performed, then, within the hermitage of Narada Muni, Narada Muni was instructing Kayadu in um, spiritual life. He was speaking from different, from so, all different scriptures, from the Upanishads, from the Vedas, um, Puranas, etc. And explaining so much Lila Kata and giving so much Siddhanta. So, Palat Maharaj was within the womb and he was hearing all these instructions and Harikata from the lips of Shilnarada Muni. So, he also explained that Karmanya Rahmanana, okay, by karma, but what we are doing, he cannot be happy. Never, never, never. Anyone has not become, never. Happy. If you want to be happy in life, go to very expert guru. And at once take initiation, name and everything. And then try to follow the rules and regulations of devotions. Then they told that, oh, it is very hard. We cannot do this thing. Then Prahlad Maharaj told, oh, Sarveshanam Bhutanam Api, Hari Rathmeshwara Priya, Bhutan Mahadeshvi Kirtai Kirtanam Jivasam Gita. He asked Eternal, servant of God, Eternal, servant of Krishna. Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. So there is nothing uh, hard to, um, to chant, remember, devotional activities. Naturally we can do We should accept that Krishna is our holy master, his father, his mother, his everything. So doing like this, so after going to Gurudev and taking initiation, we should learn how to begin our activities, Uttama Bhakti parties. Then he will teach everything. He will tell everything, like Siksha Guru, everything. And then he will tell that there are Bhakti of um, 64 kinds of. In them, five are prominent. Nine are prominent part of Lal Parayana. Kirtanam, Vishnu, Shmaranam. And among them, five are most important. Sadhusam, Namkirtan, Bhagavatam, Mathurava, Srimutti, Sabdhaya, Sakal Sadhana Shesh, Epanchal. Among all the devotional, eh? these five are so much prominent. If anyone not doing any offense and it just by any of the five, chanting name, being in the ocean, 
of any very good qualified guru and Vaishnava. Worshipping very tactfully and hearing with Srimad Bhagavatam. So any of the five, if you, you have touched any or a little, and among all these things, most important, and root of all bhakti is Hari Nam. Sarva Jasarva says Nam. From today, from just now, we should begin Hari Nam They told us the how we can be what we should be expert in instruments. No, no, no need, no need. We should bring any instrument. No, no, nothing. Bali Krishna has given Karthal here in hands. They can do it. Karthal one. And Krishna has given very beautiful tongue and mouth and three. So, they can do from here today, just now, they are all agreed that we will follow him. So, then Prabhat Maharaj was doing, oh, repeat me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna.
So then Hirani Kashipu, he had no faith, he did not believe this. And with great anger, he took up his sword. And without using his sword, he broke the pillar with his fist. And then he began cursing and swearing at his boy, because now he would sever his head from his body. He said, now, let me see your Lord save you. I will sever your head from your body, like this. And he was just about to kill uh, Pralad Maharaj, when suddenly there was the most tremendous roar. And he was looking here. And he was looking here and there. Where is, what is that? Where did that come from? And then he was just about to kill Pralad Maharaj, when suddenly the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Krishna, appeared in a most wondrous, fearful, and frightening and awesome form, a most astonishing form which had never been seen before, which was very, very powerful and white, the body of a man and the head of a lion. He was so big that the hairs of his mane would send the, the airplanes of the demigods spinning into outer space. <laughs> Fire was coming from him. His eyes were red like fire, and his tongue was moving about like a dueling sword. He had hands. <laughs> he had thousands and thousands of hands, and in his hands he was holding many, many weapons. Mm -hmm. So... Sven Hirani Kashifu, seeing Lord Nersing he thought, Whoa, what is this amazing creature? I have never seen anything like this before. And then he took up his sword thinking, actually I have benediction from Lord Brahma. I cannot be killed. So whoever he is, whatever, whatever he may be, cannot kill me. So he took up his sword and shield and ran the Lord Nersingadev, exactly like a tiny mosquito goes into a blazing fire. <laughs> so <laughs> then the fight began and sometimes Lord Singh Dave, he would catch uh, Hirani Kashpu in his grip like this. And at this time, all the demigods who had been living under the fierce tyranny of Hirani Kashpu, they began to cheer, die, die, die. Uh, and then he, when Hirani Kashpu would slip from the grasp of Lord Nishingade, then he would become a rose. Oh no, what will happen to us now? And he became so afraid. So Lord Nishingade, he could very easily kill Hirani Kashpu. But he's playing with him. He's having some um, virya ras. Previously, uh, Narayan in Vaikuntha, he had this desire in his heart. Uh, I would like to relish this virya ras, the desire to fight. Mm? But with whom can I fight? Mm? Everyone in Vaikuntha, they are all my devotees. They will not fight with me. And if I go to the material world, no one is qualified. Uh, no one can give me a good match. So, by the arrangement of Krishna's uh, the Supreme Lord's Yoga Maya, the past time took place that the four Kumaras, they went to Vaikuntha and were stopped by Jayan Vijay. And then the four Kumaras, they cursed Jayan Vijay to appear in the world to take birth as demons. So the Supreme Lord's own devotees, they had appeared in this world as Hiranyaksha and Hiranyakashipu. So now Lord Nasingade was enjoying very much this uh, very harass fighting with Hiranyakashipu. So sometimes you catch him and sometimes let him slip. Mm -hmm. And another reason is that all demigods began to tremble. Yes, all the demigods were, their hearts were shaking in fear. And then, another reason Lord Nishingadev did not immediately kill Hirani Kashipu was because he wanted to keep intact the benedictions given by Lord Brahma. His dear devotee Lord Brahma had given the benediction to Hirani Kashipu that he could not be killed during the day or the night. He could not be killed. In the, on the land, in the air, in the sky, in the water. He could not be killed by any uh, creature created by Lord Brahma. He could not be killed by any man or any animal. He could not be killed by any weapon. He could not be killed inside any building or outside of any building. He could not be killed in any year. So, so many benedictions. And having all of these benedictions, Hirani Kashipu was very confident. Yes, now I am immortal. Hmm? But Lord Nishingadev was waiting for that time, the time of dusk. It was not in the day and not during the night. And at that exact moment, Hirani uh, Kashipu was grasped by Lord Nishingadev. And Lord Nishingadev placed him on his lap. 
So he was neither on the land or in the sea or in the sky. And he was neither inside or outside of the house because Lord Nishingdev was sitting with him on his lap in the threshold, in the doorway. <coughs> and uh, Lord Nishingdev, he did not kill him with any weapon, but rather just taking his very sharp and pointed nails. He, not in the year? Uh, oh, not in any year. This was a leap, leap, a leap year day. So, in this way, all of the uh, words of Lord Brahma, the, the words of a, of a pure devotee, they must prove to be true. And Krishna will always protect the words and the promises of his devotees. So to keep intact the benedictions of Brahmaji, then Hirani Kash, uh, Lord Nishingade, he killed Hirani Kashpu at this exact time, in this exact way. And he appeared, not in the form of a human being, and not in the form of an animal, but half man and half animal. Uh, why he appeared? To, to fulfill what she is there. She promises. She told that, oh, yes, he is in this. He does. And then he does. To make this true. And also, the Bhaktavaya Chatusha, Samachananda Samachana, to keep their words that only by Vishnu. So all this, so many were in the world. So, Nishing with their camp in the Japan at once. Then Lodin Singhade, whose hands are very beautiful like a cluster of stars, immediately burst open the abdomen of Hirani Kashibu and his blood spattered everywhere all over the mane of uh, Lodin Singhade. He looked very ferocious with spattered in blood. And he tore open the abdomen of Hirani Kashibu and removed his, all his intestines. And then taking those intestines, he wrapped them around his neck and the very become very thin garland. He yeah, has spent Flames were coming from all the yes. Then, at last, Hernikarsi was there, but he was not coming down. He was so angry. At that time, anyone could not pacify him. Then Brahma, Shankar, all began so worry how to satisfy him. Then, they called Lakshmi Devi and prayed that you should go and pacify your husband. Today, this time I cannot go. <laughs> <laughs> they will also kill me. Then all told that Brahma, you should go, you are like son of oh, today I cannot go. <laughs> or you are friend of Krishna and you should go, oh she, oh today, no friendship. <laughs> <laughs> then, they requested Prahla, oh, what? You should go, your father is like me, and you should satisfy and pacify your father. Prahla Maharaj quickly, immediately went to the Shinkade and he came, jumped in the lap of And at once he was pacified, tears were coming from him there. Now he was so much. And, but now everything went in a moment and tears were coming and he was Pralam Maharaj, like animals, they do. And he told, what he told? Then, uh, I'm so much satisfied. So the rest of the day, he began to speak to Pralam Maharaj. My dear boy, I am so much satisfied with you. You have undergone so many troubles and difficulties for me. So I apologize that I have not appeared sooner to save you from all of these problems. I should have come first, but I have made so late, so I am worried. So I want to give you some benediction. So then, uh, Lord Nursing the he expressed that he wanted to give some benediction to Pralad Maharaj. But the pure devotee never has any self-interest. They do not serve the Lord 
with any motive. So Prahlad Maharaj, he was unwilling to accept any benediction from his uh, Lord, Lord Narasimha Dev. What did he reply? So he said to Lord Narasimha Dev, No, no, Prahlad Maharaj, what he said? He told that, I'm not a business man. I'm not the most, did all the person act at peace for business point that I will serve you and you will give me something. So this is business. So you should take for any desire is hiding anywhere in my heart. You should quickly take it so that I may be true. Because you are telling that you should want something, benediction. So I think I don't know where it is hidden here. So please take it. Oh, I know that you are pure. You don't want them. You have never you require anything. But I still I want something that you should take recognition. Then Prahlad Maharaj told me that if you are insisted me to take any benediction, then I want that my father has done so much, offended you, offended me. He has given so much trouble, trouble to all the devotees here. He has cut all the green trees that oh. anyone cannot uh, have any wood or fruits. He has killed all the cows that he cannot come, milk cannot come, butter cannot come to for devotional activities, for how many fire sacrifice. And he has killed all the brandings at that time. So he has done so much. One very Render offense, mistake, offense. So please uh, excuse him for his body. He told that, oh, you're so done, buddy. Your father has been liberated, liberated. Because those who are of high class, Uttam Vaishnav, in their dynasty, upper and lower, 21 generation, generation all father, all mother, all will be liberated. And those who are in Madhya Madhika, always chanting, remembering, doing devotional activities, their 14 generations generation will be quickly. And those who are now Kanishta Dikari, taking initiation and doing chanting, remembering, and try to do uh, pure Harinam, pure devotional activities, but they cannot do. Even Seven generations uh, should be liberated. So don't worry. Then he told that. Again he told, insisted, that I want to be any benediction because my darshan is of darshan. will not go in vain. In vain. So you should want it. Then he told, oh, I want that. All these conditioned souls or forget in me. And they are now suffering doing so many bad things. And they are suffering so much. I cannot tolerate. I want that. My all good things should be given to them so that they may be devoted. I want to take the, all their sufferings and bad fruit of bad activity and for lakhs and lakhs first I want to suffer suffer for them. But they should be liberated. Then Prahlad Maharaj, Nishim mm. Gadev told me, I am defeated, Nishim Gadev told me, I am defeated. And you have warned me. Now I am myself giving you this benediction. That anyone hear this Haritatha about Myself and yourself, this Prahlad Upatthya, the pastimes of Prahlad Maharaj and Nishingh Dev, that will be quickly liberated. And anyone has not to suffer, you will have not to suffer. So, you, now, if anyone doing chanting, remembering Nishingh Dev and Prahlad Maharaj, Anyway, participation, participating in this function here in Abhishek, here in Harikatha, this and powerful Harikatha here. 
all should be liberated by ministering there. If ministering there, promise is this, <coughs> that anyone here, I'll make them, but liberated from this world, and all their suffering, sorrows, and everything I will say, so he will must take. He will take. You should have a very good problem. Okay. He cannot cheat us. What he will tell, he will surely do. So you should have a very strong faith that he will be merciful to us and gradually they will develop our Krishna consciousness and he will give inspiration for Bhakti life. So, after this, we will do what Abhishek of Nishim the Dev today, first some Kirtan and then Abhishek the Dev, who will do like Indian press, not so much tightened by coat and everything. When we help each other, they should take and do two, three persons. Who will do? Ravnath Bhatta, Naveen, they can all do. A very simple, you know, he will show and he will do. Quickly take about your law and go. First take Ashman and do. Two, three persons can help uh, Sudam Tata and Kundari get in help. And you should also go. Quickly, oh, we should do some Kristan. Oh, yes, sir, do it.